Hello everybody, my name is Red Essence, and welcome back to Let's Play Luigi Mansion. Last episode, we caught Vincent Van Gogh, and we acquired the final key, and in this episode, we are going to enter this room, and beat the game. Beat the final boss, and beat the game. That was not redundant at all. Well, anyways, let's do this. First off, very easy to miss Sapphire and this, and the fact we get all 10 Sapphires, and that we now have all 10 of each of the gemstones. And if you want to return to the foyer, there's a mirror here. But... Final boss is Bowser. Sort of. You'll see what I mean in a minute. But the way you defeat him is he will throw these things out, and what you need to do is vacuum him up and hit him in the head with it. And out comes King Boo, because really King Boo's the final boss. Mm, that was really bad timing for my computer monitor to stop to stop working. But anyways, he has 500 HP. In case you didn't guess, that's a lot of HP. And of course, I was an idiot and started this fight out with 70 HP, rather than actually starting out with, um, about really bad corner to begin. Yeah, this boss fight isn't too hard, but it, it can be a bit of a pain. It's only that. Main thing is, you have to vacuum up King Boo while not get hit by the ice that Bowser shooting out, and that's the difficult thing about this fight. Well, no, that's really the easy thing about this fight, but... Really, it's not too hard yet, but Bowser gets a lot tougher moves later, like this, where he'll actually try to land on you, and if you're not moving, he will land on you, which is... If you're carrying uh, one of those black balls around, that 
not a good thing because he'll he will cause those black balls to explode. And and I actually got hit by that while I am doing terribly. Anyway, let's get King Boo now. Main thing is, after vacuuming up enough of King Boo's health, Bowser will put his head on backwards. Which makes him a lot more of a threat than usual. You, I mean, you'd think it'd be bad for him, but he's harder to dodge than usual. This is one of the easier. That was actually not too bad, but one thing about the fight, um, some, depending on who you ask, that Bowser is someone different. Some would say it's Bowser's suit, some would say it's sort of a Bowser mecha thing, some would say it's actually Bowser. The way I always figured was that it was Mario transformed into Bowser, which is, you know, why you saw him in the painting get transformed into Bowser. I always interpreted it that way. And crap. And of course, there have to be poison mushrooms in the final fight. I mean, it wouldn't be hard without poison mushrooms, would it? No. Now let's pop him in the head again, and this should be the last time. Final boss, folks. Five minutes flat. I don't know, know actually how long that is, but don't know actually how long that took, but yeah, five minutes. Pretty short fight. And the King Boo's crown is a red diamond, which is the value of one coin, as I mentioned before. One of only two red diamonds in the game. But anyways, here. We get a call from Old Lady Gad. Luigi, you did it! Truly remarkable, my boy. I supplied the Poltergust 3000, but you ran with it all the way to the top, son. You made me so sniff, snort, proud, snort, get a hold of yourself, Gad. What's this? You found King Boo, he jumped into a painted Bowser, you say, he even blew fire at you? Well, well, in all my years of ghost research, I've never heard such a fantastical day. That curious man, 60 years, mind you. Why, I still recall starting out as a young whelp who trembled at the thought mere thought of a ghost. Trembled, I say. Oh, beg your pardon. This old brain goes recollecting every now and then. I could sit down and fill a week spinning ghost yarns. So I just laughed. Wait. Well, anywho, we just grab your brother's painting and bring him to the lab. Hehehe, <laughs> heh. The poor little had fallen asleep. He must have just collapsed with relief and exhaustion when he saw you arrive. I'll get the machine ready to return your brother to his formal state, alrighty? I'll be expecting you both. That's another reason I always thought that uh, Bowser was Mario transformed, because of the fact that he's tired out, you know, asleep after the fight. And with that, we got Mario's painting. This won't mess with your head. Oh, your hard work lasted only a single night. Well done, Luigi. Okay. But anyways, he'll just say that the treasure was actually real. All the treasure that the Luigi g got from the mansion is actually real. First off, Egad will want to put all ghosts in. Of course, it's a Bowser and Boo head. King Boo. But actually doesn't have a crown yet, because, you know, we took a crown. But anyways, <laughs> Luigi's still happy. That, that still amuses me so much. Of course, aside from Bowser and Boo, King Boo, we have to see what ranks we got on all the other ghosts. And, looks like we got a bronze rank on him, I think. But, we got a gold rank on Jarvis. A gold rank on Soupy. A gold rank on Vincent Van Gogh. A gold rank on Uncle Grimly. A gold rank on the Toy Soldiers. And a brown rank on... Bronze rank on... Okay, I forgot his name. But I don't really care. We'll be seeing that second anyway. Now that... Actually got a lot of gold rank. That's definitely brown rank. Sir Weston, that's his name. And we now have all 23 boss ghosts of the game. And that, get our money summations here. And our end amount is 126,000 million. That's a lot of money. And we save here. Note that it shows that the game restarted, but anyways. 
This cutscene always mildly amused me. <laughs> Mario getting turned from a portrait back into a, you know, human being. Just always mildly amused me. And of course, back to. <laughs> and of course, all Luigi can really do is laugh at the rapper. And with that, we've beaten Luigi's Mansion. And time for credits roll. I I really enjoyed this one. I really enjoyed Let's Play. I know I'm a new Let's Player and I'm not very good at it yet. I hope I was at least decent for a new Let's Player. But I'm overall I'm happy with this turn. How this turned out. I was really lucky towards the end of this. I I got a lot of golds on Bosco and only a few bronze and a few silver so. I think overall I played really well, and I did find pretty much every secret in the game, more or less. I missed two speedy spirits, but those didn't even carry any. Those didn't even carry any gemstones, so I'm really not concerned with it at all. Anyways, as I said, I really enjoyed this. Thanks to everyone who watched this, and well, I really don't have too much more to say. Um. I enjoyed this a lot, and I'd love to get into a new Let's Play right away, but unfortunately, due to real-life reasons, I can't, so it'll be a few weeks, so if you want to, you know, know when I start never Let's Play, just sub subscribe to me, and, you know, YouTube will send you a message when it appears, when it, you know, when it appears, when I upload it. Yeah, it'll be a few weeks. And I really don't have anything more to say, so I guess we'll just watch the credit. Or not, because I just came up with something to say. After you beat the game, um, you'll unlock the hard mode. I mentioned it earlier, but there are various differences in it. I think mainly the vacuum stronger and you take more damage from enemies. But I don't really think there's too much difference, I don't know. But, well, as I said, not really much to say. It's so sort of settled, a matter of the ghost was settled, and I am not even going to bother to read that. And with all the money, we get the best ending, Frank A. Not bad, not bad at all. The end, of course. And of course, there are, the ranks are A through H, and H is the worst, and A is the best. Simple enough, but I think it's actually impossible to get an H rank, because you need to get less than 5,000 gold, and due to the fact that King Boo's crown is worth exactly 5,000, I don't think you can actually do it, but anyways... If you restart a game after, um, do it, it'll, you'll note that it's restarted and you now have the Hidden Mansion option, that's the hard mode, and I already mentioned that, and it'll start you right off from the beginning. It'll skip the intro sequence, you know, before you get the Polka Gas, but you can do that. But anyways, what I want to do real quick is go to the gallery, because first off it shows if I could actually tap it. It'll show you the mansion you got. Of course, all the money you got. And of course, as we can see, all the boss ghosts are here. And you can see what ranks you've got on them, too, as I mentioned. And of course, in this big shiny altar, we have 
the big one, you know, King Boo and Bowser, with bronze rank, unfortunately. But anyways, I really have nothing else to say other than goodbye and goodnight.